So, you've been summoned for jury duty here in New York City. What now? Lawrence Corey, native New Yorker here, to show you the proven steps to avoid a fate as bleak as serving the penal colony, I mean judicial system, of our dirty old town. As a multiple felon and active fugitive, honestly, getting summoned for jury duty isn't something I need to worry about anymore. But that's only because I've succeeded in employing the technique I'm about to show you today. Triumphed in defeating the system. Now, what you bright and risen civilians ought to do is commit a crime, or a series of crimes, that automatically disqualifies you from serving as a juror. Naturally, not any crime will do. It must be a crime committed with such precise barbarity that the bespectacled oracles in these buildings who decide upon our fortunes can't help but be deterred by your orchestrated madness. However, it's imperative that I don't end up, like my nana before me, condemned to the gallows. So we must choose wisely. Being the showman that I am, I'm going to demonstrate for you a particular favorite of mine, one that fits well into the cavernous canon of my various expertise. I'm going to perform for you a grand vaudeville of public defecation, one that if you correctly employ yourself, will guarantee that you get banned from jury duty, and from voting, and from driving, and from handling food, and from receiving social security benefits, and in all likelihood will score you some serious time in the sanatorium. But you'll still be able to run for public office. Lawrence! Lawrence Corey, native New Yorker! What? the fuck do you want? I'm a fan. I'm a fan. <laughs> I love this city, man. I moved here because of you. Oh. Thanks. Are you shooting? Yeah, we're shooting. What's it about? It's about getting out of jury duty in New York. No way. I'm on my way to jury duty right now. I mean, I don't, I don't mean to be presumpt presumptuous. Is that how you say it? No, that's not how you say it. Could you get me out of it? You want me to get you out of jury duty? Yeah, I mean, that would be amazing, Lawrence. Okay. I can do that. contact with you. I'll be absolutely riddled with your DNA sprayed liberally about the room, caking itself all over my body. That would give us away, you see? It's paramount that no one knows we've come into contact. Now look inside, Montgomery, you filthy bastard! I was outside, going to jury duty. It all went dark. I was, I was at sea on a ship. Scurvy. Scurvy. Everyone had gone mad, completely insane. The captain. He had legs for arms. Jebediah was his name. He, he was so skilled with a harpoon, I remember. So methodical, craftsmanlike in his butchery. Whales. So many whales, something with dolphins, I can't remember. Montgomery, Montgomery, Montgomery. Twiddle D, let's get T. found guilty by a jury of your peers, actually the same jury members who were selected on that day that you were summoned. You were in far too deep a fecal haze during the trial to, to know what was going on. Uh, I'm innocent. And now, on account of your death sentence, you don't have to serve jury duty anymore. Death sentence? <laughs> the 
It doesn't make any sense. I would have, I would have served. I would have served. Where are you from? Connecticut. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm from New York City, motherfucker. So you should listen to me about how to operate here. About how this place is run. Damn you, Lawrence Corey. Damn you. I can't believe this. Vile beast. Damn you. Damn you. You have to help me. Got to get me out of here. Can't. Sorry. I'll do anything. No one knows New York like you do. Where'd you get that? What? <laughs> I grew it. You didn't steal it? What are you talking about? No, no, I believe you. I was just, I was just checking. like I'm really living lucky these days. Now, what Montgomery, this mangy little thief, didn't know was that his whole conviction has been staged for the purposes of this episode, but not for the arbitrary, humane reason you think. See, according to ancient New York City myth, I mean law, having a goatee instantly expunges all criminal convictions. So, the fact that he had a goatee during his ruinous pooping spree granted him impunity from any criminal accountability even from indictment. But now that he's given up his goatee and donated it to our show, he will be retroactively convicted and put to death by the mayor's office, which generously supports our show's production. I have, however, since pasting this goatee onto my flesh, been redeemed by the authorities legal and spiritual for all my various transgressions, and therefore I have been summoned to jury duty where I will, as a dedicated and honorable inhabitant of Manhattan, serve fearlessly and indefinitely. Until next time, New York.